morning, everyone. Um, so uh, I work for the uh, research computing center at uh, Harvard. So this is uh, um, so this is the resources we have um, for different research labs. Um, um, so actually, last uh, this week we got uh, into top 500, and so um, in September we uh, we got uh, 32,000 cores uh, from Lenovo, which um, so almost uh, uh, 2,000 pe uh, uh, pe petaflops, <laughs> not yet petaflops. Uh, so I'm going to talk about two uh, two different use cases uh, uh, we are helping with. Uh, um, so they, these are unique because uh, like it's not traditional HPC. Uh, things need to be done uh, where we are collecting the data and um, like a uh, little bit different setup for edge computing and uh, deep learning. So for this uh, experiment, uh, so we, so the research group is a part of a, a Center for Brain Science. Uh, so we had to uh, help them. So they, they had, uh, uh, they designed the custom uh, rad boxes. So which each rad box has two Raspberry Pis connected with them. Um, so all this video uh, data which need to be collected need to be compressed and then transferred to the server for um, like further processing. So what the science uh, behind this is uh, to see how uh, a subject is learning motor skills. So like, and um, one other objective why we need video processing is uh, without putting markers on uh, different body parts. So. Um, so we are. Uh, uh, so we worked with the, uh, the research team to develop a software, develop a workflow system, uh, so that uh, some of the processing can be done um, uh, um, when we are collecting the data. So other big challenge uh, with the same group is they they have like ten different uh, uh, researchers, uh, everybody running their own experiment. Um, so. What uh, Mahmoud, uh, uh, who is part of uh, research computing, uh, so what he did was uh, uh, develop a software workflow system to, um, uh, so that every researcher can pick up the, their study and configure the parameters. So uh, the, the code which is, uh, uh, we have developed pushed to the uh, Raspberry Pi as a binary. So each, each Raspberry Pi has a master controller, which controls um, recording, uh, like recording of video, um, actually feeding uh, water to, uh, uh, to the subject, uh, all other uh, controls which need, needed to be done. Um, uh, and so doing this, we can, uh, like with this effort, uh, they, are, they are able to scale uh, this to a big operation. So um, right now we have uh, more than 200 uh, rad boxes with four, 450 Raspberry Pis. Every Raspberry Pi has uh, uh, every box has uh, cameras to it, and we had to do some networking so that the uh, data can be transferred to our data center for like further processing. So one thing which uh, um, we had to mm, do was uh, build a like a uh, uh, file system locally there, as well as some processing. So whenever uh, like this collected data uh, get reduced by fivefold, so uh, we need not to transfer large data set. So every day, uh, it's uh, like a terabyte of data being generated and uh, transferred to our data center. So the other use case is, uh, and so uh, uh, I'm working uh, with the industry partner to acquire um, bunch of uh, their um, data so like they have there are two two different projects so this is with the Harvard uh, data science initiative um, so it's a um, partnership with the Asian uh, ISP so and so they want to see how their sales uh, sales reps are converting the leads as well as uh, like um, trying to figure out how uh, the DDoS attacks happen or like their net flow data is being transferred. So f to do that, uh, we had to do several things. Uh, so first, created this uh, 
Ceph-based file system so that we can uh, store uh, data at, like encrypt data at rest, um, which usually uh, in HPC Center, that's not the traditional file system. Um, so other thing we did was uh, uh, like stood up Elasticsearch servers uh, so that data can be uh, reduced and uh, transferred like um, to different nodes so that um, the like the science can be uh, can be uh, made simple. So that's it. So any questions?